Hello! This is my Flash Force Creator 3 Pro and I have had that for around 11 months. Um, the first four months was a struggle with this machine as both of the print heads has uh, some kind of error in them so I had a long talk with Flat Flashforge uh, before I could get some new print heads for it uh, luckily they did send that for free so I just installed that which was kind of a hassle to do because uh, you don't have that much room to uh, work in here there is only this room and of course you can open the lid here um, but after I got the new print heads uh, this one is actually printing amazing so this 3d printer comes with a magnetic uh, built plate or a print bed and it's uh, flexible so you can pop up your uh, prints really easy from this one uh, a few times if you print smaller thing you have to scrape it off I know a lot of people are using uh, glue sticks and stuff like that on their build plates but I have never done such a thing on this one I'm just cleaning it really good after almost each print uh, so that I'm sure that it has a really nice grip and make sure that it is uh, placed right in the printer before you print um, personally I am using this stuff here this is only a 35 solution um, normally we do clean with a 99.9 .9 solution but I'm actually using this one and it's working pretty fine for me I have never used anything else on this printer and it's just working perfect let's see it print the start button or the power button is stuck here behind the corner of the 3D printer. You can hear it powering up here. Here we have the start menu under tools. You find uh, the filaments in and out. You find the bed leveling. We have manual and automatic bed leveling. Then we can go back to the start menu here where we have print and you can choose from the hot drive of the printer or from the USB port of the printer. You can have maps in your USB port here so that's pretty nice. I am going to take this print from the hot drive because that's what I printed last time and I need one more. So this printer is a bit loud, um, but it's it's kind of okay. I can still work in the room while this is going, so it's not a big deal for me. Now my 3D print is done, so let's take it out. And it's so easy to get it off, just flex the mat and there you have your 3D printed uh, thing here. And this is printed in a very high layer height so it's a little more rough than uh, normal but I actually think it came out brilliant. Let's take a look at it under the light. I used Flash Print 5 to slice this um, little box here and um, the only thing I changed was the layer height from the normal 0 0.18 to a 0 0.3 and you can see that it is very smooth and nice looking. There is no um, artifacts or stuff like that, no stringing. Um, so it actually came out really, really good. And it's printing even finer with the 0 0.18. So I'm really, really happy with the way it is printing. 
I'm always using a USB port when I am working on this printer and the good part about this one is that it kind of loads in the print in the memory so if you are printing you can take out the stick and there will be no problems with your print. So you have the front here, you have your build plate, you have two print heads that can go either only the right um, print head here making something or you can build something with both of them so you have a double print or you can make a double colored print with these two print heads and here on the sides we have some uh, opening uh, rooms where you have the filament good and tucked in on both sides of the printer we have a room like this you can take off the lid and here you have your spool with your 3D print. The only downside is that you can't have a filament spool that is bigger than the one that is sitting here in the machine otherwise you can't close the lid again. From here the filament goes into the filament detector and up to the Bowden tube that goes around. So the Bowden tube comes out here goes up and around and into the print head and this is a direct extruder so you have the motor in here that brings the filament out uh, and the same in the other side it comes from the side goes up around and into the extruder the only but I have about this 3D printer is that it came with a lot of problems to start with so if I had been a newbie it would have been gone out of my window um, but after a lot of trials and errors and talking with flash force I got it to work with the new print heads and it had been working nicely ever since but um, if it's a newbie machine I really don't know I hope that answered a lot of your questions about the Flashforce Creator 3 Pro. I have had mine for 11 months now and I really, really love it uh, now that it is finally working right. Here you see a few of my 3D printed things that I printed on my 3D printer, the box here that we uh, just made during this uh, recording. Then I have a few other small things here and I even have a dual print, uh, dual color print here. So you can see that actually works pretty pretty good. This is a very expensive 3D printer and um, I paid a lot of money for this one. And yes, I paid this one myself. I have no affiliated link for the printer or nothing like that. This is my own printer. But there's nothing much about this printer out there, so I wanted to make a video with some specs and some showing uh, how this one works. I know they made a version 2 of this 3D printer, this model here, and if you are thinking about getting this one, um, please make sure you get the version 2, because the version 1 is coming with a lot of problems and I think if they change that in the version 2 then it could be actually a good starter printer because it's very very user friendly when it first is running but again it's really really difficult to change anything in this printer because there is so little room to work in um, but I love mine and I will keep on using that for a long time now so anyway, that was all I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like if you did. Thank you for watching.